Hello, now we come to the next lecture describing how to find Higgs particles uh, in the Large Hadron Collider experiment and discussing some of the issues of such, um, such um, data analysis, which uh, tend to be built around the concept that if you somehow measure n events, the error in that measurement is the square root of n. That's a lesson which is broadly applicable, but we will illustrate it for this particular physics experiment. Uh, first, let's uh, point out some uh, general concept that's um, not really out of scope for this class, but um, we'll mention it just in case you come across the concept. That's the concept of a random variable. Intuitively, it's probably clear what a random variable is. It's something that does things randomly. And uh, a random variable is either a single number, or in the case of the physics experiments, huge collections of numbers, because the results of any one event are, are very big, and lots and lots of numbers. So um, the theory of probability statistics, um, which underlies this analysis of physics, uh, um, is um, built upon the concept of random variables and their probability distribution. And uh, physics actually pioneered some of them, at least was one of the early applications of these ideas. But uh, now it used to be probably the largest, but now it probably isn't. There are probably other much larger applications. Now we have so much data from uh, these um, commodity applications. Note that uh, the theory of proton-proton uh, collisions at the Large Hadron Collider is slightly unusual. It's not like Newton's law, when um, Newton's law, if you uh, take a particle and do something uh, straightforward with it, like drop it, uh, the result of that dropping is um, deterministic. It's given by Newton's laws. However, when two protons collide at the Large Hadron Collider, then the answer is not not so certain. It's, uh, it's actually the theory gives you a probability that the two protons will do something. So here is not the, here's a set of equations which, if you like, are the corresponding to governing the collisions of protons. Those equations give probabilities, not equations of motion, like they do for uh, particles hitting each other. I also noted before that the theory uh, of what's happening at the Large Hadron Collider cannot be precisely calculated. It can be estimated and models can be built and things. So the theory is itself approximate and also it does not give an answer. It gives a probability of an answer. Uh, so we had this uh, LHC is an example of a very important class of activities which gives events as the answers. And those events are, a, are each, each event is a random variable. In the case of physics, I say it's a random variable, lots of um, specified by lots of numbers. Um, other events might be um, just a single number, namely if you were tossing a coin, that's an event. The answer to that is uh, one number. It was it heads or was it tail? Um, other events of importance, we've mentioned already earthquakes. Uh, so earthquakes are events, and they can have multiple events actually happen at the same time. Because you have four shocks, and the main shock, and aftershocks. Uh, transactions of banks are events, and then you could say the databases were pioneered to, to actually describe the processes type of event. Uh, financial informatics is built around stock events. And when a stock is traded, that is an event. Um, in each case, when we have these events, we have a data information knowledge wisdom pipeline that tends to take these uh, random variables which are associated with events and transforming them, transform them from one form into another. And um, in the case of the physics, the final random variable is just as one component, does the event fall in a particular bin of a histogram? 